BC Transit has decided that light rail is the future of transportation from downtown Victoria to the ever-growing West Shore, but not everybody thinks it's the only option. As we showed you Friday night from Royal Roads, there are other, dea other ideas, like a commuter water taxi. And a Colwood councillor thinks there's another way, cheaper and more effective than light rail. A News reporter Mary Beth Burton has the story. A commuter ferry service from Colwood's Royal Bay to Victoria is sparking renewed debate on what can be done to get around the Colwood crawl. Congestion has to be eased. A 300-person passenger boat being proposed by five local developers may not be the only solution. And while this part of the Blue Bridge is closed forever, some people haven't given up on this route as the commuter solution, either by using the rails or by taking to the sky. Colwood Councillor Brian Tucknott has two out-of-the-box proposals to get motorists off the island highway. It's a big player in, in Europe and Asia and, and Australia, curb-guided buses. Here's how it works. The buses in places like Adelaide, Australia, run on the road and then attach themselves to train tracks. And an ideal place to lay it would be the ENN railroad, so you could use it for trains, you could use it for buses, and you could also use it for disaster response for emergency vehicles. Studies indicate curb-guided systems cost about a third of light rail. BC Transit has extensively studied West Shore congestion and believes the $950 million cost of light rail is the best choice. But the Colwood councillor says, like Calgary and London, England, we should be looking to urban gondolas for an aerial commute. And if you were to run them, say, from the area of the Blue Bridge to somewhere out here along the waterfront or along the Galloping Goose Trail, the trail already exists. It, again, it can be put to a dual use. Calgary has learned the cost of a gondola is anywhere from 5 to 10 million a kilometer or about $150 million from Colwood to Victoria. I can't think of it a greater tourist attraction. Hey, come and see Colwood, come and see Victoria, come and see View Royal, look at it from a gondola. It would be a fraction of the cost of light rail. The mayor of Colwood says a huge piece of the transportation puzzle is still missing. I think that we as a region need to develop some priorities and some regional governance with respect to transportation. We all operate individually right now and that's unacceptable. The West Shore is the region's fastest growing area. And while the car commute builds, developments like Royal Bay and Colwood sit idle. The old gravel pit is zoned for 2,800 homes. The price of the 420 acres keeps dropping as sellers wait for developers, who are likely waiting for a solution to congestion. We need to get on with something, whether it's ferry, whether it's uh, rapid transit, whether it's a train, or whether it's actually just looking at our infrastructure and doing some priori prioritization. If the municipalities can't work it out, the West Shore will have to hope that Royal Bay developers can successfully float a ferry commuter service. In Colwood, Mary Beth Burton, A News.